Thank you for watching. Today we're going to be descending in from cruise altitude doing the localizer runway 25 at Akron Fulton in Akron, Ohio. This approach is very similar to the ILS we did at San Diego a couple videos back in the TBM 930 with a few exceptions. This approach does not have a glide slope. And there's also now a minimum descent altitude instead of a decision height. With this approach, when we cross the locator outer marker at 4.8 DME, we'll descend down to 1,560 feet, and that'll put us at an altitude of 501 feet above the ground. First thing we need to do is select the approach. Press approach, then confirm that we do have the localizer 25. The airport is Akron in the Akron transition. And then press load and activate because we are going to do the approach. We want to activate it now. We're now listening to the ASOS on 126.82. Wind 278 at 14. Visibility nitro and heavy rain. Sky condition. Ceiling 2,200 feet overcast. Temperature 13C dew point. 13C altimeter 2 9 or 9 or 2. Kilo Alpha Kilo Romeo automated weather observation 1800 Zulu. Wind 278 at 14. Visibility nitro and heavy rain. Sky condition. Ceiling 2,200 feet overcast. Temperature 13C dew point. 13C altimeter 2 9 or 9 or 2. So the ATIS was 9 miles visibility, we need at least a mile to shoot this approach, and the ceiling is 2,200, when we break out, we're going to be 1,560 feet, that's going to be 501 feet above the ground, so we'll be below the clouds by about 1,500 feet when we break out, so there should not be any problem getting in on this approach. Since the approach is already loaded in the FMS, this does not set the localizer frequency by itself, so we need to put in 110.9 into NAV1. We also need to dial in our final approach course, so we can press heading. That will center the heading bug. Next, select the active nav to VOR1. You can now see the course uh, indicates 249 degrees. Now we can go back to nav and FMS mode and let the autopilot fly the course selected. We were able to leave the autopilot on doing what we did and still maintain altitude and heading. You may or may not notice I do not use ATC in these videos. I think the ATC on Flight Sim 2020 is absolutely horrible. It's not close to realistic. It does crazy things, so I just prefer not to use it. So let's begin a descent. We'll go down to 4,000 feet initially. We are six minutes out. We need to descend approximately 24 to 2,500 feet per minute to be able to get down to airport elevation by the time we cross over the airport in about six minutes. We still have to do an approach and fly outbound, so we have more time to lose, so I'm only aiming for about 2,000 feet per minute. As you can see, the radome has collected some ice, so this is a good time to turn on all anti-ice and de-ice switches. And nothing really happens here, so we're going to fast forward to the good parts. Cue the elevator music. Now that we descended lower, the precipitation has just rained, so we can now turn off the de-ice boots leave all other anti-ice systems on.
Smith selecting 3,100 feet. That is a minimum safe altitude on the approach plate. We'll hold that until we are established inbound on the final approach course. I'm now giving myself radar vectors. I'm selecting heading on the flight director control panel and I'm going to turn left and set myself up for a downwind leg. We're not no longer relying on our FMS course. Now we're just doing heading, so we're going to switch our nav source to localizer 1. And you can see the switch is made. We went from pink needles to now a green needle and a loc 1 inside the HSI. 249 degrees is on the HSI, which is what we spun in when we were at cruise. So when we're down at a low altitude where we're starting to get busy, that was already done and that's one less thing we have to do in a busy environment. We're currently north of the locator outer marker. That's the symbol that looks like a football on the approach plate. On the MFD, that's the red dotted symbol with the AK above it. That marker beacon is 4.8 DME from the airport. I'm now making a right hand turn inbound. I'm going to turn to a 90 degree intercept angle and then turn again to intercept the final approach course from a shallower intercept angle. This is also a good time to put in the first notch of flap and slow to final approach speed. The localizer is alive, which means we have course guidance. In this position in real life, you would get a clearance from ATC. TBM 700, turn right heading 240, descend and maintain 2300 until established, cleared localizer 25 approach. needle isn't pegged all the way to the left or to the right and we're within 10 miles of the fix, we can descend. If that needle was pegged left or right full scale deflection, we would not be able to descend until we were on course. Now that we're established inbound, we can select 2300 in the altitude alerter and descend to 2300 feet. We're now just under a half a mile from the final approach fix. We can select gear down. This is normally done two to three miles from the final approach fix. We're now at 4.8 DME. We can now descend to our minimum descent altitude of 1,560 feet. We're not able to set 1,560 feet in the alerter. We can't go below minimum, so we have to set 1,600. Now we're at 1,600 feet and the altitude has captured. Indicated by a green steady ALT. One thousand six hundred feet will be maintained until we reach our missed approach point of 1.2 DME. Or until we see the VASI then we can follow that down. You want two white, two red. All red means too low. All white means too high. We can see the runway environment and the runway itself. We can now descend down and land. We have the minimum visibility of one mile, which we do, barely. When we listened to the weather inbound, it was reporting nine miles. 
but you can see how the visibility has dropped and this does happen in real life quite a bit if a heavy rain shower moves over the airport. And normally you would stay at the MDA until you intercept the glide path, which are the lights on the left side of the runway. You want two white, two red. And I have two white, that means I'm too high, but we still have plenty of runway left over to land and we're gonna touch down on about the thousand foot markers. There you have it, there's a localizer approach. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe.